Paul Budnitz is an American artist and founder of the art toy brand Kid Robot. The art style of the toys were inspired in many different locations, including Japan, Hong Kong, and Europe. They also specialize in clothing and accessories that grew rapidly in popularity. The son of a nuclear physicist and a social worker, Paul was born and raised in Berkeley, California. From a young age, Paul displayed a great love for computer programming and art. By the time he reached high school, he was professionally coding safety analysis software for nuclear power plants and creating video games for the Commodore 64 home computer. He had attended Yale University, where he studies photography, sculpture, and film. MOB was the first company that he started after his undergraduate degree. The company sold clothing that he created to sell to museum stores nationwide. This would eventually evolve into collecting and selling modified vintage Levi's and other vintage clothing. An example of this would be his modified Air Jordan sneakers that he had collected and sold for up to $16,000. After achieving his honors art degree, he began working on two films, 93 Miles from the Sun and Ultraviolet. Both won awards at the Berlin Film Festival and were distributed worldwide. Art Form Magazine hailed 93 Miles as one of the best films of 1997. Wired chronicled his achievement in making his own editing software to edit his full-length movies after realizing the gaps in editing technologies of that year. In 1997, he also revolutionized the mini-disc player. He founded the technology in Japan and hacked the player to accommodate time codes specifically for film and sound recording. This led him to a $10 million business where he sold mini-disc players online from a website named Mini Disco. This was all created by him from software and computers that he created at home. His next project, the art and toy company Kid Robot, was founded in 2002 when Paul discovered images of a limited toy that were emerging from Japan and China based on a cereal box character and modified G.I. Joe dolls turned into stylized b-boys wearing streetwear. Graffiti, graphic design, pop art, and animation were some of the main focus that the brand aimed for. In 2002, he sold Mini Disco and used the proceeds into the new company Kid Robot. Shortly after selling the company, he moved the new company to New York City in 2003. Paul also collaborated with friend Tristan Easton, an illustrator he worked with on previous animated films to create Dunny, a vinyl figure designed to be customized by commissioned artists. They also created The Money, a do-it-yourself toy figure that Kid Robot customers can customize themselves. In 2006, he added a clothing line to the company and released them in a limited quantity like the toy figures. He co-designed all the t-shirts and based them after the toys themselves. In late 2006, Paul would write a book, I Am Plastic, The Designer Toy Explosion. The hardcover picture book geographically features the most popular and innovative toys in the design art toy movement, with chapters on Japan, China, Europe, and the United States. The sequel, I Am Plastic 2, The Next Generation of Designer Toys, would be released on October of 2010. A short list of brands, artists, and illustrators that he has worked with are Frank Kozik, Dalek, Doze Green, Tara McPherson, Huck Gee, Gary Baseman, Shepard Fairey, E-Boy, Tilt, Mist, Joe Ledbetter, Tristan Eaton, To Die For, Junko Mizuno, Mori Chex, Futura 2000, Turma, Mike and Katie Tato, Paul Pope, David Orfath. Musicians include Swiss Beats, Shepard Fairey, DJ Cubert, The Gorillas, MF Doom, Mark Hoppus, and brands like 
Nike, Barney's, New York City, Lacoste, Burton Snowboard, The Standard Hotel, Swatch, and Volkswagen. Since the launch of his first apparel line in fall 2006, the collection has quickly evolved into a phenomenon. Legions of fashion-savvy fans pushed the brand and helped it grow into a multi-million dollar company with offices in Shanghai, Tokyo, and Seoul.